Hello, internet. Uh, I have a lot of random, crafty, miscellaneous things that I want to get done. So let's hang out and craft. Right now, my fireplace is giving, like, bad haunted house energy. And, like, that's not the vibe. This fireplace is from the 1800s. It's unusable. I'm not making any fires in here. So I'm thinking of cleaning it up and putting some fun stuff inside. First things first, I had to take away the screen and the random candles that I put in there for ambiance. And all of the other fireplace accoutrement needs to go. And then I had this little scoopy and this little bucket and I'm just scooping all of the ash and other random stuff that was mixed into the ash into this little bucket. And I tried to make things as non-dusty as possible, but ash is pretty dusty. Then I literally just took like some water, some Dawn dish soap and this little scrubby and I started scrubbing away. And then I was like, why am I scrubbing the inside of the fireplace when nobody is going to see the inside of this fireplace? So then I just started scrubbing the outside of the fireplace. I honestly like had no idea what I was doing. I just knew that I needed to a degreaser and that would clean the stone. So I just like went to town with my little scrubby and I had a towel to like sop up any extra stuff that needed to be sopped up and make sure I got all of the grossness out of there. And yeah, and then I wound up cleaning like the entirety, like the outside of the fireplace as well, not just the ground. And it really like just gave a nice fresh look. Here's the before, like look at how dirty the stone is. And here's the after, amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna just fill it with some wood. My dad just cut a whole bunch of wood. So I'm gonna put some freshly cut wood into the fireplace, you know, make it look cute. So I had to get into my side by side. I almost ran over a chicken. I tried really hard to drive slowly around the chickens. I would like the record to show that I've never run over a chicken okay anyway into the woods i go and i'm just picking out the cutest pieces of wood for the fireplace cute pieces of wood only okay i don't know why i decided to do this in a dress but um here we are so all right i've collected all of my wood pieces and i'm just like puzzle piecing them together i have a bunch of different shapes triangles rectangles circles and i'm just gonna puzzle piece them together and then after i put all my wooden pieces in there i decided that like this grate was looking a little crusty so i just took some like copper acrylic paint and like an old makeup brush and stippled a bunch of layers onto the grate and it just made it look so much like brighter and like complete Really great touch by me. Thank you, me. And let's just look at the before. Disgusting, dirty, rotted, haunted house. And here's the after. And I wanted to show you what this is going to look like in its natural light because that's pretty important. It doesn't really matter if it looks great with the ring light. It needs to look good and look clean even in the natural lighting, which is pretty dark. I like a cozy, dark space when I'm watching my TV shows. Also, the peaches are in season, so I made Johnny climb the peach trees and get me the best peaches. That one, like right there. You got it. Oh no, oh no. We're gonna do just like a little, just like a little crochet project. Yesterday, I made this little number and it looks like a purse that like Polly Pocket would own. And now I'm gonna make her like more relaxed cousin. So I have some chunky yarn. This is like all the chunky yarn that I have. So here's like the Pinterest inspiration. Hopefully it looks good and doesn't take me five hours. I'm hoping this will only take me like an hour. Here's row one. Hopefully I have enough yarn for this. Row two. It just looks like a uncooked hot dog. Just crocheting in the round until I like the height of the bag. And I'm doing all half double crochets. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And hopefully I have enough yarn. Across that bridge when I get there. So far so good. Here's where I'm at. 
And now I'm gonna add the handles. I think I'm just gonna put some stitch markers down. Where do I want these handles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. Okay, so I just marked out where I wanna put the handle. Um, so I'm gonna crochet. Ooh, wee, 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 wee. I'm gonna crochet to my stitch marker. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna chain one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna half double crochet where my stitch marker is. And that makes the little handle. Is it too small? I feel good about it. So I'm gonna do the handle on the other side and then I'm gonna keep crocheting until I run out of yarn. Okay, are we ready for the final reveal? Look at how cute. And wait, 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 wait a second. Hold on. I still have some extra yarn. So, one second, one second. Okay, now it's done. Oh my gosh. Like, shut up. Shut the effing door right now. Shut up. They're so cute. I think I need to buy more chunky yarn. So if you have any chunky yarn recommendations, let me know what your favorite brand of chunky yarn is. Um, Cause the only chunky yarn I've ever used is stuff that I have scavenged for. So let me know what your favorite brands are so I can make some more stuff like this. This is really cute. Our cousins, I love it. Okay, now I'm hungry. I must replenish my autistic soul with nutrition. So tomatoes are also in season as well, so I'm going to make a tomato salad slash off-brand bruschetta salad. So I got zucchini, tomatoes, jalapenos, I don't know why I'm talking in an accent. Fresh tomatoes, yum. Also New Jersey tomatoes are just the best. Cut up some zucchini, cut up a jalapeno. So then I also cut up an onion as well, and I cried my eyes out. I'm very sensitive to the onions. And ooh, look at that salad, but she's not complete without some mozzarella balls. Gonna add some lemon, a bunch of olive oil, and you know, pepper, salt, this like Italian herb blend that I have that is just so good, and some balsamic glaze. But, you know, before I eat, chickens gotta eat, obviously, so I gave them my table scraps. Mm. Ah, no, no! A mozzarella ball! Come here, chickens, eat my scraps. I'm aware that I do eat, like it's the last time I will ever eat again in my life. I eat like a caveman who just discovered fire. Mm. It's even better when you don't use utensils, you know? Yesterday was my birthday and I literally had so much fun. We went to the antique show in the morning, then we had a little bit of brunch, and then in the afternoon me and Johnny went on a hot air balloon ride. When we went on the hot air balloon ride, it was so much fun, like watching them put the hot air balloon together. And then when we were up in the air, it was so cool because we were seeing our entire area and we even went over our house and I got this aerial view of the alpacas and it was so magical and beautiful seeing the whole hot air balloon process and seeing like the ecosystem of the sky when we were in the hot air balloon slash when we saw the hang gliders hang gliding around us. And I didn't get this on video, but afterwards we had some charcuterie with all the other hot air balloon people. And I had some really good Armenian cheese. And I'm still thinking about that Armenian cheese. Okay, back to the haul. But of course I can't go to an antique show and not show you all of my little treasures that I got. So we're just gonna do like a brief haul 
and then I think we're gonna call it good for the vlog. So let me show you what I got. So this bag was literally the first thing that caught my eye. It's a hand beaded bag from the 1950s and apparently a very fabulous woman named Gwendolyn owned this and she was a professor and she had amazing style. And I just hope that when I buy people say that I had an amazing style as a person. You can never have enough stools. I always need stools in every single room of my house for all different kinds of purposes and functions. So got this stool. 20 bucks and it just like matches the aesthetic of my old farmhouse so I got this fabric I think it was like 22 bucks it's like a yellow gingham with tea and teacups and tea party accessories and I freaking love teapots and tea accessories and tea and tea parties this like watercolor painting just like fits the vibe of a little cottage core farmhouse so got this I also got some more fabric I haven't opened this up yet it was only five bucks so pretty and has pink roses or peonies I don't know the exact flower but this was a cop as the kids say that didn't really sound very normal coming out of my mouth but you know and then I got these vintage slip dresses I've been on the hunt for a slip dress for a hot minute this one's just like really cute and pretty and pink. These actually fit me. What a shocker. I feel like every single slip dress I find is like an extra small and like that's offensive. Why? This one is like a nice like robin's egg. And I think for both of them, it was $15. Are you kidding me? Etsy resellers. We're gonna fight because on Etsy, these are like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. It's just like a cute little cottage core pink little apron that you can just throw on a little dress or I didn't really get it for functional use I got it for more like fashionista usage this is a Care Bears lunchbox from 1983 Care Bears were just like my entire childhood and the Care Bears always came with like a matching Care Bears VHS tape I watched the hell out of those I need to find the Care Bears movie somewhere because the Care Bears movies absolute masterpiece like just so good but it also came with a little Care Bears thermos a vintage tablecloth oh this is just so darling I love to use it as a tablecloth so I think she will actually be a tablecloth and not some like random monstrosity that I create on my sewing machine at two o'clock in the morning that is my haul. That's everything that I got at the antique show yesterday on my birthday. And since I got it on my birthday, money doesn't exist and it's free. Girl math. But yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I feel like I did so much on this vlog. I crafted, I cleaned, I was in the woods. Lifting wood? Oh my gosh. Like, I was just a whole lumberjack. See you in the next video that I make, obviously. And yeah, let me know if you have any comments, questions suggestions let me know and make sure to like and subscribe for more fun we have fun around here duh